I am at the bus station. Honey's dropping me off because I am going wedding dress shopping with Joyce, my cousin. So I thought I'd bring you along. Bye. See you later. Two of nine, here I am. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is the wrong door. The other way. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me for dress shopping with my cousin. I didn't want to show all the dresses she tried on because I have to save a little mystery for the final dress that she chose. But I did take some photos of us at the appointment and I thought I scrapbook it. For this layout, I wanted to do something special and I looked through my supplies and found this wood veneer heart die cut from a Dear Lizzie collection. And I thought it was really, really pretty with all these hearts. So I decided that I was going to use the Huddy Swap Mist and mist it and color it and turn it a little pink. I did the spring off camera, so I hope that's okay. Now I'm trying to decide what kind of color pattern paper I want to use on the back of it. I pulled out this Crepe Paper Hello Love collection and placed it on some of the different pattern sheets of paper. I tried the black and white stripe, and I thought that looked pretty nice. Um, but then I tried also this pink stripe, and I didn't quite like the intense amount of pink for the layout. So when I tried this polka dot paper, I thought it was perfect. So that's the one I ended up choosing to use. You can't quite see, but I tried to show you how there were also tiny little pink hearts on it. I mostly took video footage that morning, but I did manage to take two photos. One with my cousin and her stylist, and then one with me and my cousin. After I let the wood veneer dry from the spray mist, I attached the wood veneer die cut with some hot glue. I really liked how the mist dried on the wood veneer. It's not very thick and opaque with the pink color. It gives just the right amount of translucency with the pink onto the wood. I definitely wanted to use both photos, but I didn't like how it didn't stand out on top of the pink wood veneer. So I decided to back both photos with a very light mint colored cardstock. This photo is a typical four by six size, and my other one is a three by four. I added a very thin border of this mint cardstock to both the photos. I think the mint border helps bring more focus to the photos when it's on top of the wood veneer. Now for the embellishments, I had decided I wanted to use some of these banners from Heidi Swap. And I thought they were really nice because I saw how there was pink and teal, and I would cover up the yellow on this one. But I didn't really like the shape of the banner. I didn't like how straight it was. 
So I decided to use the triangle one and cut it into two pieces and then layer them with my two photos. So the first one was easy. I used the big long one for the upper left portion of the page and had it layer over the larger photo. And then I knew I definitely wanted the second one to layer with the smaller photo. I finally was able to figure out how to layer it without covering up the faces. So I had the banners that were covering up the faces behind the photo and then the one, the banners on the side to come out above the photo. After the appointment, I also grabbed a couple of business cards. I like collecting business cards, but I was also thinking I could scrapbook with it and add it to the page. I'm also saving one for myself because I intend to go back to try a few dresses on as well. Now I am stamping the date on my little journaling slip and I chose to use a roller date stamp from Dear Lizzie and the sentiment is lovely day and I just wrote that I had a great time dress shopping with my cousin and we might have found the dress for her. For the title I wanted to use these gold thickers. I thought they were really pretty and I was thinking about using the title, The Wedding Dress, but I thought it was a little too long, so I ended up just changing it to The Dress and added a question mark and exclamation mark at the end because we aren't sure if we have found the dress, but we are pretty close to um, finding something that she likes. So I think the punctuation gives that emphasis on the title. I ended up moving the to center it over the dress portion of the title. Now for some more embellishing. I really like the gold font that I used so I thought I'd add some more gold embellishments and I had these Martha Stewart gold glittered flowers. I added a couple of these around the page and made sure I positioned them so that they surrounded the photos so that you would be focusing on the photos. I also pulled out this Huddy Swap planner stickers that I had and I really like the XOXO. I love the black because it brought a lot of attention. It was a strong color so I put the XOXO banner right at the upper left hand corner of our big photo and then I decided to use a geotag, a black geotag over the title of the business card. I also pulled out some chipboard hearts to add another dimension and texture to the page. And instead of using the gold ones, I felt that I had a lot of gold everywhere, so I decided to use the light blue ones instead. And that worked really well because my little journaling card and the mint border behind the photos um, was a good match for those blue chipboard hearts. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on this trip and watching me make a page to remember the day. If you do, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And I hope you have a crafty day.